welcome to my YouTube channel again. This is Wakarede Makerede, where I tell you here we are all about children from divorced families. We send them love and listen to them. Also, we remind them that divorce should not dictate or direct their life in a bad way. So my viewer, I'm grateful for your continued support. Thank you for keeping on subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos and also for sharing these videos. Thank you people for all the love that you're continuing to show me. So on today's video, I want to continue on the challenges that girl child will go through whenever a divorce occurs and in a scenario where these children or this girl will be left behind when parents part ways for a divorce. Uh, and in my previous video, I talked about that a girl will make a choice of getting married early, which I said sometimes it will be just for the girl to make herself contented by beginning her own family. Now, Leo Pia, I want to thank one of my viewers who reminded me that uh, these girls will get married trying to look for a father figure in their lives. Yes, everyone needs identity. Now, when I divorce in my car, most children are left stranded. Wakishindua, where do I belong? Who do I uh, call my next of kin or who do I call my family? So uh, these girls will tend to get married looking for the father figure, looking for identity, looking for someone who will listen to the small girl in them. You know, so this is a bad reason to get married. I think imagine getting married to, to just look someone to, repl to replace where your father should be. It's really sad. Eh? So uh, let me continue with the other points that I didn't uh, explore in my pre previous video which are uh, the challenges that the girl child will go through whenever a divorce occurs. Now, hey, I'm going to talk it touches both boys and girls, and now I'll be talking of it on the side of uh, a girl child. So, uh, whenever a divorce occurs and this child has been left at home, there maybe with relatives or with grandma or grandpa, they will tend to have bitterness. They will tend to have vengeance. They will tend to have hatred towards their parents. They will tend to feel like Whatever happened, the divorce wasn't the best uh, thing that the parents could have given uh, this child as a gift. So they start to hate uh, their parents. They start to feel that their parents did the worst thing that ever could have happened in their lives. Now he bit an ezo in a kula uyum toto sana sababu, it doesn't end. No matter how much the parents may try to provide for the child, there's nothing you can place with that mother and father love. And that makes a child to even feel they don't want to, to associate themselves again with their parents. Yes, it happens where a child will hate their parents. So just think of it and see how really the divorce will destroy uh, this child. It makes them never to forgive their parents. And as we know that when you don't forgive, who gets destroyed? Niwewe ambaye will forgive. So mtoto huwa na bakina iyo, anakuwa na accumulated anger, anakuwa na accumulated bitterness, and forgive. You know, this person never fights this because if, if, if the parents, when you are so close to the, par to, to the child, it really, it, it really destroys the child's emotion. It destroys their, destroys their mental wellness. They feel so bad about uh, their parents whenever there's something that reminds them about their parents. Because they feel the parents are giving attention to other things instead of them. So, wanabaki, wakona hasira kabisa. I know if you've been... Uh, to this kind of a challenge, especially that kind of bitterness, you know what I am talking about. And I'll now move to another point. And biopia is a challenge that uh, will face or affect uh, a girl child whenever a divorce occurs. Na wakati wazazi wakombali na mewacho nimbali. So in school, mostly uh, to young girls, when other people are talking about their parents, you know, my parents bought me this gift, my mother and father, they are like this. Uyu mtoto ambaye anatoka from divorced families, most of the time, Utapata, they don't want to socialize with other students. They don't want to join such groups. They feel isolated. They feel they don't belong because they can't start talking about their grandmother, whereas they know that their parents are alive. So, their self esteem, they can't talk about where they're coming from. They can't talk about their parents. They can't be proud about their parents. And this makes them to not uh, socialize well well with the other students and also they feel they feel always like it, it's like a loss they have it's like they're always mourning when other people are feeling uh, happy about their parents then they can't feel good so this makes them to feel 
kuingiana na watu wengine because they feel different. They feel their parents make them not to feel proud about about them. You know? So whenever a divorce occurs, ina kufanyanga ukiwa shule, you don't want to talk about your parents. You're not happy about them. They didn't buy you gifts even if they bought walitu mana wangu kuja and they're not giving you that homely environment to talk about it. And mostly this affects students in school. I have seen it so much. And uh, my viewer, as I talk about these challenges, and you know a child who is going through a similar challenge that I'm talking about, kindly, whenever you find them, whenever you find someone who can uh, reach them, kindly remind them that it is okay. It's okay to embrace the change. It's okay to feel good about where you are. It's okay to talk about your grandmother. It's okay to embrace it. Don't let it define you. Don't keep quiet when other people are talking about their parents. You also talk, say your grandmother did this, pre she prepared for you the mokimo and everything. So this is a challenge that I myself I went through when I was in school. Whenever people could talk about how happy they are with their parents, sometimes you find yourself so quiet, you don't want to talk. But as you have parents, that is also uh, adding the bitterness that I've just talked about. It adds bitterness to the, to the, to the child and to the girl and they feel like they don't belong. So I'll now move straight to another point, which is the third one on uh, today's video, which is about poor making of choices. That is attributed by peer pressure. And peer pressure inakuja whenever hakuna proper guidance ya mtoto. Unapata, when a child has been left behind, anakuwa exposed to many people to advise her. You know, the parents are not the one now with there will to get their parents. Now it's other people from the society, friends, and everyone who interacts with these children. So unapatanga, uh, peer pressure, ama was chana wanakuwa so much influence to do things that are so bad. For example, a girl child may be influenced to join groups like the prostitution. Yes, whereby mtoto vile nilisema anaweza drop shule. And they feel the only way to sustain myself because akuna mdavi ananiangalia closely is to go and sell my body. It's still a way of making money. But remember, wakarede na kerede, our reference is the Bible. We talk in a Christian perspective where we know that these things are not right according to the Bible. So you find that our children or our girls are ending up being prostitutes at a very young age because they don't have proper guidance. Some of them will join into drug abuse. Yes, we have seen women uh, being caught in drug trafficking, others who are selling drugs. Yes, some of them, I'm not saying, generalizing that they come from divorced families, but mostly because of the peer pressure and lack of proper guidance from the parents. So, this is a challenge that will affect a girl child. Some of them will even end up getting jailed. And another challenge that will still uh, be on this uh, peer pressure is crime. Eh, tuniona wanawake wengi sana wako kwa maneno kama ya shabab and other bad things like robbery. Some of them will be because they don't have proper guidance. Mtoto akiwa mdogo anaanza kuwa mwizi because akuwa na close check by the parents. The parents were kathirika, no wakaacha mtoto, so the child is left there advised by the society. So whichever group the girl falls in, in a, in a dictate here, life na na, flow in with it, which is so wrong. You know, divorce is really a big factor whenever it comes to destroying children's life. It really does a lot of damage. Another thing that I'll talk about is about, is if it to a squeeze in the so common in TikTok and other channels about lesbianism. Remember, I'm not saying I'm against anything, but I'm just saying that as a Christian, these things we know they are not right to our children. And you find that when divorce occurs and was asking wao karibu na mtoto, some of them they will take their children to boarding school. Hmm? And when you, they take their children to boarding school, or when the children are still with their grandmothers, takuna kwa juu mtoto na fanya nini? Then you nashukia your girl is not your girl has been a, a, a lesbian. As a parent, you are in shock. Yeah. You know, these things are the one I'm talking about and I'm saying that we, we sometimes don't, don't know how they come to be. Some of them, they are brought about by divorce. Unapata mtoto na nasema, kama siyo divorce ni hape, ni isinge kuwa ni kolefian, ni isinge kuwa ni kokwa, maneno kama hii ya crime. But because they are bitten, ezi nye nimeongea kuhusu ni kianza hii video. Ina accumulate, inafanya mtoto akwe easily influenced by peer pressure, inafanya mtoto sasa, kuna time anafika, even if the parents want to join hands and take care of their child, it's not easy because mtoto asha potea. You get. And I will now talk about uh, something that it's all about bitterness again. Bitterness revolves around everything. It revolves around decision making. It revolves around these things I'm talking about, peer pressure. So, people take divorce easy. 
People think that it is just a matter of kuachana na life in Endelea. But Rita, do we see that when divorce occurs, wazazi wana directing that anger to the child. So unapata, when uh, this child has been left with the parent, there is no parent who wants to identify them. With the, with the, there is no parent who wants to identify him or herself with their child, this girl child. And some of them, unasikia ta mtoto amejua. It is still about bitterness. Unasikia mtoto amejua, ame commit suicide. Because mzazi wake ataki kuja sofiet na ee. Sababu waliachana na baba yake, ee mtoto anajona ni kama amekua mzigo kwa wazazi. You get it, that makes a child to be so desperate. Some of them, they even commit suicide. My viewer, remember, I'm here to tell you, usikaya tu hapo, ukisema ati divorce duly happen, wacha ni spoil my life. Remember, I'm still alarming some of us who are still from divorce family. That divorce is a challenge. Challenge unafaujue in a positive way. Unafaujue that the precious thing my parents gave me was life. That chance to live. Yes, that is all you needed. So you take your life, you make good decisions for yourself because there are people out here who are making good choices and they're still from divorce families. Don't just sit there and die saying that unajua wa tatu wangu wandechana ndiyo manazi jamaliza shule. It's okay, it's a challenge like I've just talk, talked about, but also it's a, it's a challenge to you as a child. Usikae hapo, eh? ukisema I am going to die, I am going to just live like that, I will start telling myself because the divorce occurred. No, we are here to tell you that you can write a new story for yourself, a good one. Okay? So in a drug, squeezy, ladies are now consuming uh, beer without even covering themselves because some of them are filled with bitterness from their parents. And when I talk about, about bitterness, my next video, my viewer, I want to talk about how we can forgive our parents. How a child from divorced family can forgive their parents because bitterness is the beginning, it's the root cause of all the bad choices these children will make in the name of their parents' divorce. So my viewer, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Thank you, uh, my viewer, for also continuing to support me. And remember, I'm here to remind these children from divorced families that divorce should not define us. We are destined for greatness. The society should now start embracing these children from divorced families and start seeing them as normal children, start uh, accepting their difference and embrace their change and take care of them. Let's not expose these children to some of the challenges I've just, I've just talked about on a girl child. And my viewer, thank you, thank you for watching.